Hi everyone, welcome back to Dino World. This is a quick overview of the danger mode. If you haven't seen anything about Dino World, I did a playthrough of the light mode, which you can play along with. And there are links to the campaign page because this is on Kickstarter right now. And you can see all of the final stuff. This is all prototype, you know, printed off pages and things like that. So the danger mode, you see a lot is similar to the light mode. You still have visitor cards. There is no, uh, there is no simultaneous option with this though, where you know, the first person to claim these cards is going to take them away from everybody else. There are still special buildings, but there are also research cards. So you will have an X, a Y, and a Z card every game, and they will give you special powers. You know, instead of being able to adjust your dice like you could in the light mode, you have three opportunities to use an X, two to use a Y, and one to use a Z. So X could be, when building a pen, it can be one square, smaller or larger, or there is one that adjusts the die values as well. If you use Y, it could be, use a die as if it was any value you desire. So they give you different ways of manipulating the dice, not just, you know, being able to adjust by one pip, and you get fewer uses of them as well. I'll show you the Z in a second. There is also this threat tracker down here. Hopefully that is all on screen nicely. It was in the beginning. I've been moving things around. So there is now a threat tracker down here, in, as well as you know the dice tracker. The threat tracker goes up every time you get a new dinosaur because there is more risk, there's more threat to your park. Every time you get a herbivore, you mark it up by one. Every time you get a carnivore, you mark it up by two. You can also get some security every round. You can just get one for free in the beginning. Every every game in the R&D phase, you can have one extra security. But as you get past these first few here, they start costing you points. Because at the end of the game, every point value you can see is added up and you get those as points. The more security you get, the more points you're losing by doing that. You can also change how generators work a little bit here. Rather than needing specific boxes and needing to be touching boxes, generators can have a number of connections coming from them. So you can have up to four connections coming from a power generator. So let's say I needed something like a T-Rex pen and I was doing it down here. It needs to be six big. And I'm not going to draw the T-Rex. You can see my terrible dinosaur drawings in the, the light mode video. But I could draw my power generator here and it needs three power to do the T-Rex pen. Now I can build multiple like... In the, in the previous game, I could build three here and they would each have a connection to the T-Rex pen, but each power generator can have four connectors coming out of it. I can have all three going to the T-Rex pen. It's fully powered from only one generator. And you know from the light mode, unused generators are worth points. And if you've seen the light mode video, you have far fewer generators that you can use this time around. So yeah, that seems great. Why wouldn't you do that all the time? Well, this choice of how you go about your generators and the threat tracker work together with the power outage phase which is new for the danger mode so in the power outage phase one player rolls a die and everyone has this threat value for their die for the phase so let's say i'd i'd built some more t-rex things i just went crazy on carnivores and i just have three t-rex pens and some power and all of that kind of thing i would do Let's let's have two going to each there and then be a bit wasteful with the third one. There we go. I'm just, I'm just trying to <laughs> make a situation here. So I would have the threat tracker would have gone up two for each of these. So two, four, six threat now. And yes, by, by some miracle, I managed to do all of that in the first turn. Well, I, I could with, uh, yeah, you need, you need seven. So it's unlikely. If we'd rolled three sixes, and I've managed to adjust them, maybe. But yeah, let's, let's say I did this by the second round, so I could have free security once per round. I had two security. So we've got two threat. That is added to my threat. So I have eight threat, and I subtract two because of the security. So I now have six uh, threat left over. We come over here to the power outage, and with a six, you know, it's not that likely that things are really gonna go wrong. Only power generators with four connections coming out of them are going to malfunction. Unfortunately for me, I've got one with four connections up here working out these uh, these big T-Rex pens. So 
Unfortunately, these are going to malfunction and cause a damage to my T-Rex pen. One damage is represented by just crossing out one of the squares of the pen. And this may be why you'd want to build pens a bit larger, you know, give them a bit more health. As this goes on, so this could keep malfunctioning because, you know, this, this is just for having six. If I had less security or mo even more threat, power generators with fewer connections would start to be affected. Whereas if you get to nine or more threat left over, all of your generators malfunction. So every pen that needs power malfunctions and gets a damage. If any pen should get completely damaged, all of the squares are, you know, shaded in like that then the dinosaur escapes and then does damage to any pens that are touching it. And so, you know, it can just lead to a, a full-on Jurassic Park catastrophe if you let your thing get out that far. But this is the kind of risk that you're taking. You can go safe and go for the herbivores that are only going to increase your threat one at a time, but they're worth far fewer points than the carnivores who are potentially going to completely wreck things as they go along. You've still got the special buildings. You've still got the visitor cards that everyone's racing for. You've now got some more interesting powers to manipulate the dice with. Also, the Z power that I don't have a paper version of. The special Z power here is some docile gene sequencing. Do not increase the threat when building a dino pen this round. So you can have a bit of a break, especially if you really want to go crazy building carnivores this time. Uh, so yeah, there are a lot of different powers going on, a lot more risk here, a lot more pushing your luck, but a lot more interesting decisions that you can make while you are going into it as well. And yeah, you'll, you'll end up with something a lot nicer than this scruffy little T-Rex park I've made. But anyway, this is just a quick look at what's different in the danger mode. If you would like to see the full game of the, the live version and play along with me, then the link will be somewhere around here. If you'd like to know what I think of the game in general, the link will be somewhere down here. Uh, but either way, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you for the next game. Bye.